And welcome back to Crystal Coast Real Estate Television. I'm Bill Hitchcock. It's time for the market trends and report and a little bit of analysis. Lots going on. The, the word for the day is stabilized, and that's really what's been going on in the marketplace. For example, we're going to be talking about the Crystal Coast uh, area and the Noosh River area, which is New Bern, uh, Craven County, Pamlico County, Jones County. In terms of active listings in the Crystal Coast, we only have 1% more inventory on the market right now as opposed to the same time period last year, and it's basically the first five months of the year, which is tremendous because we had been in double-digit numbers above uh, prior years. It's been part of the problem with the glut of inventory. New inventory coming on the market in the Crystal Coast area were 18% uh, less. In the Noosh River area were 24% less, which is also good news because we are having too much inventory coming on uh, that was causing the glut. And if you take a look at the sales, there's only one area where we need a lot of improvement in on. It's the Crystal Coast area. Our year to date compared to last year, we're 21% down. And in the Noosh River area, we're 31% down. That's going to be the reason why we're going to maintain any type of uh, uh, level of inventory that we do have, which we need to get rid of. The good news is if you look at the average sold price for a residential property in the Crystal Coast area, it's $258,000. In the Noosh River area, it's $203,000. And as you can see by the little numbers there, that the average sold price in the Crystal Coast is actually 3% less than the same time period last year. And in the Noosh River area, it's only 2% more than the same time period last year. Now... So I wiggle around, I got so much to talk about, I'm getting excited. The absorption rate, something that I like to talk about, is actually the supply of inventory that we have on the market. And really what that is, the absorption rate, that if you take the rate of uh, at which the inventory comes on the market for sale and the rate in which it goes off the market as sold, the absorption rate is that factored uh, together. Uh, a normal stable market is six months. Uh, right now in the Noosh River area, we're at 14 months supply of inventory. And in the Crystal Coast area, we're at 34 months supply. So we're, in terms of inventory, where we should just have six months, the Noosh River area has a little over a year. The Crystal Coast area has almost three years worth of inventory. And I'm gonna take a little break right here and explain something. You know how uh, usually a listing agreement is for six months? You ever wonder why six months? Well, it gets back to this absorption rate that I was just talking about. That in a normal stable market, every six months, the inventory flips over, gets sold, you have new inventory on. That's why most listing uh, uh, agreements are, had been for six months. During the time period that we're in now with this glut, where you see we got a 14-month supply in the Noosh River area and almost a three-year supply in the Crystal Coast area, you need to expect extend that listing agreement, generally speaking, uh, it is a very good idea because it's taking much longer to sell the inventory. Now, let's get into the year-to-date average sold prices uh, in the area. Atlantic Beach, the average sold price for a residential property is $712,000. That's just 1% less than the same time period last year. Emerald Isle, $573,000, which is 8% less than the same time period last year. Beaufort, average sold price, $282,000, which is 8% more than the same time period last year. Moorhead City, and I've still been very confused by this, the average sold price for a residential property is $349,000, which is 23% more than the same time period last year. Newport, $176,000, which is 10% less. Swansboro, $276,000, which is just 1% less. We've been talking about Swansboro for some time. That's probably been one of the most more stable areas along the Crystal Coast in regards to the real estate market. You continue to keep your eye there. Um, New Bern, average sold price, $157,000, which is 8% less than the same time period last year. Trent Woods, $356,000, and that's like Moorhead City. It's 28% more than the same time period last year. Last year, Fairfield Harbor, two hundred seventy thousand, which is nine percent more. Riverbend, which is kind of like uh, our, the Swansboro uh, area, very stable marketplace. Keep an eye on that, and has been. Average sold price is two hundred three thousand dollars, which is the same amount of what it was statistically speaking last year. Bryce's Creek, two hundred sixty one thousand, which is eleven percent less. And then uh, Taberna, three hundred thirty three thousand dollars, which is nine percent less than the same time period last year. Lots of information, but we're coming in on the home stretch. I want to show you the year to date, and I'm calling it average prices as you take a look at this graph. You'll see average list, average sold, and the median price. That blue bar is showing the Crystal Coast. The average list price of a home along the Crystal Coast is $452,000. In the Noosh River area, it's $305,000. So you can see the disparity between the two areas. But 
when it comes to the actual sold price. This is what people actually paid. In the Crystal Coast area, it averages out to 258000 In the uh, Noosh River area, again, that's New Bern, Craven County, Pamlico County, part of Jones County, it's 203000 Now, the median price, which for some reason the media likes to talk about the median price uh, a lot. Maybe they just know something I don't know. But anyway, in the Crystal Coast, it's 191000 in In the Noosh River area, it's 166000 And by the way, the median price is that if you listed all the prices on a table and went right in the middle, the middle price, that's the median price. Home stretch here, loan type, I found this very, very fascinating. Over the past 30 days, in the Crystal Coast area, as you can see there, 52% have been conventional, 47% uh, in the Noose River area conventional. VA loan, pretty much the same, 25%, uh, Crystal Coast 22 in the Noose. But cash, this is what we find so fascinating. The past 30 days in the Crystal Coast area, 17% of all real estate transactions have been cash. In the Noose River area, 21% have been cash. And statistically speaking, on, on average, it should be only about 13 to 14% cash. And really what that means, we've all heard about scares in the financing world. People are saying, forget that. Prices are great. We have prices that are reflected to 2004. So instead of financing, the people that are able to are just plunking down cash and getting in on the deals because this is a buyer's market still. I'm Bill Hitchcock for Hitchcock Realty. If you'd like a complete analysis of your home, your street, your neighborhood, your town, whatever, give us a call here at the Hitchcock Realty offices at 252-360-1133. We're going to commercial break. Don't go away. There's plenty more Crystal Coast Real Estate Television when we come back.